Okay, challenge uh, starts today. It's Saturday the 8th of April. Uh, Paul and myself, Mark, we are about to start the North Downs Way long distance pass. We're 154 miles, I think it is. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, we're starting in Farnham, uh, going down to Guildford today, which is about 10 miles. Uh, and this video diary is going to be uh, a record of that journey. We're going to be taking a few uh, in historical places, uh, hopefully getting to the Watts Gallery today. Uh, it's a gloriously sunny day, so a perfect day to start. And I hope you enjoy this little video diary. Here we go. So here's me and Paul. We're actually right by the beginning of the North Downs Way. Here we are, the lovely, lovely little sculpture. It says here Dover, uh, 153 miles. Sorry, we're right next to all the traffic, as you uh, can see. And uh, look, <laughs> he's already playing silly buggers, because that's the kind of guy he is. About to set off and put a couple of photos. And we're off on the North Downs Road. So just leaving the, uh, the road, and as Paul's just said, you know, literally in a couple of steps, we're going to be, look like it could be 100 years ago. It's a nice little walk here. Some lovely cottages, right by the river way. Very nice. So the faintness of the road is getting less and less and less. Oh, I love this. Very nice. Do you think we can move in? Come on, mind, will they? Yeah. Okay, we're going down this way now. We're actually doing a bit of road walking at the moment, which is not ideal, but hey, it's getting hot now. We're doing well though. Lovely walk. And following her. Okay. Oh, North Downs Way there. There he is. There you go. It's fallen off, you can see. Vandals. Oh dear, vandals. Okay. As the sun rises over the Surrey countryside, <laughs> welcome to Escape to the Country. Doing a bit of road walking at the moment. I think we're heading down to Putnam. We'll probably stop for lunch. We are currently at, oh, welcome to the Sands, what we call it. Yeah, the Sands. Yep, Farnham Golf Course. Yep. I think that's the clubhouse we're passing. It's all good fun. We walk along. It's a very nice little brick wall. It actually complements the path a little bit more than some of the other stuff. Here he is. So it's all very nice. Oh. Hot now, babies. Nice open fields. To give a perspective, where the A31 is just up the top there, and you can see the hotel that most people know, which is on that road. Okay, so we're going to carry on walking down this towards Putnam and Thatford Hatch. Okay, here we go. There's that bit of the North Downs Way, but we're now going to cross over over here. And hear it coming here. Yeah, here we go. And into here. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, I remember this little fairy tree. Oh, we've got a little fairy tree. I know some friends would like this. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a mini version of Swallowhead Spring, Avebury. <laughs> Dogs must be took from the control. That's so cool. Anyway. Mm. Oh! Oh! This is this, sir. The fairy tree. There it is, it says it right there. So we walked out and we've come across this rather lovely landscape here. Which is rather nice. I want to show everyone the view. That's the A31 up the top there, and the view going right over in the distance. Just hear the slow hum of the cars. It's nearly time for a pub stop and refreshments. You know what refreshments they're going to be. And then we'll probably have lunch at the Watts Gallery um, in Compton. Should be fun. Okay, North Downs Way, we're coming into Putnam. 
where we can have a pint. If we like pints, so it's a lovely village. Yeah, so there's the church in the background. Head into it. I think I can see the pub from here. It's always rather splendid. So Paul and I just had a quick uh, refreshment break in the Good Intent in Puttenham. Walking up to the church and we're heading on then to Compton uh, where we're going to have lunch at the Watts Gallery. And it's all rather groovy. Are you having fun, Paul? Groovy. He's having It's groovy, it's, apparently. It is groovy. Yeah. Guess how we rock and roll here, baby. Putnam Church. Here we go, heading down towards Compton. For lunch! Woo! To the hood. To the hood. Okay, we're still on the North Downs Way. Following the sign. You can see it. Yep, it's down here. So let's follow Paul, because he always looks confident, he knows where he's going. Yeah, straight on. Straight, straight on. on. Okay, we're walking underneath the A3 now. North Downs Way, following it for the signpost. Very well signposted, this very well way marked. Okay, we're walking up to Watts Gallery in Compton. As I say, it's Compton in, sorry, not Compton in LA. For some lunch. So here we go, lunchtime. Okay, we've had lunch. We're now going to the final stretch. We're going to head into Guildford and get the bus back to Farnham. This is the first section pretty much done. Uh, got about another mile, I think. Or two. Um, or two. Yeah. So we can hear the A3 in the background and the A31 going over the A3. So we're heading towards Loosley. Loosley House nearby, famous for the ice cream. And we're heading to Guildford and uh, we'll be getting the bus back from there back to Farnham, as I just said. If you were listening. If you're listening. But I've heard people saying, Mark, your voice is so dronely boring, I switched off, which is not standard, really. Unlike Paul, you know, he's got a, quite an engaging voice. No, mine's even more droning. Yeah, look, oh God, isn't that? You know he works for the council. Wild garlic. Here we go. We're nearing the end of our first stint on the North Downs Way. Uh, poor thoughts. Um, it's a nice, easy start. Mm -hmm. Nice weather. Good company. Good beer. Yep. Nice cup of tea. A nice cup of tea at the Watts Gallery. Uh, so we're heading into Guildford, uh, and uh, our next route will be Guildford to Dorking and Box Hill, I imagine. Indeed. Which is where Paul is in Box Hill, so that's quite easy for us to sort out. Um, yeah. I'm loving this. Okay, following the North Downs Way, we're heading uh, that way. And here we go. Walking into Guildford. Out to civilization, we're now in Guildford. Um, North Downs Way is that way. Along this road, Guildford College of Law. Uh, Guildford College of Law. Oh, yeah. So, heading for the bus station to go back to Farnham. Says the old shipping, we're heading up to St. Catherine's Hill. Good depart on the Pilgrim's Way, St Catherine's Hill, there it is. And here we are, walking the edge of the River Way, going into the town, very nice. Some uh, narrow boats on the shoreline. We are walking with pace because we don't want to miss the uh, bus. Very much like the River Way, I've never actually walked along here before. In all the years I've lived in the area. And it's uh, very pleasant indeed. And there's Guildford Castle in the distance. And the Yvonne Amman Theatre. Okay, it's, uh, it's the 30th of April. It's Beltane. Happy Beltane, pagan friends. Uh, Paul and I are on the second leg of the North Downs Way. We're at Shelford at the moment. We're going to pick up the trail uh, near Guildford because we had to come in by train. Shelford, not Shelford. Shelford, not Shelford. Tell the West End cast of yeah. 
and uh, we're going to head down to Dorking. Uh, so here we go. Okay, we're just working out which way to go. We've got halfway there. Um, that way? Yes, <laughs> just confusing. We're going to go this way. Plot. Yeah. We're not even on the North Downs way yet, obviously. <laughs> but hey, it's pretty scenery in Surrey. If you get serious, I'll get the compass out. Yeah. Oh, he's got a compass. Yeah. Off the now they say I try and avoid cows, but these are just quite chilled out, really, and just like, yeah, whatever. All right, guys. I'll let Mark walk closer to them than they. <laughs> okay. Now crossing the bridge over the River Wye. I think we're the uh, choir. I think we've got the right one, haven't we? It's not the bridge over the River Wye. No. Yep, there it is. We're now back on the North Downs Way. So, hurrah! Second leg, here we go. Another cottage that we're going to buy later on. We're into Shantry Wood. It's a pleasant walk. It's a very pleasant walk without trying to walk into manure as I'm filming. If we go up to the Martha's Hill, we've got a fallen way sign. It does say North Downs Way, so we've got to go up that way. Up that way. But no, it's up his way. Are we ready, Paul? We are. Let's up. do it. Up we go. Okay, hope you can hear my voice over the wind, which you never work out until you're editing. Here we are at St Martha's Church up on the hill. We made it. Great view as we walk up. Before we leave, we've got bagpipes coming from the uh, service going on inside. It's quite cold, finished. Oh, it's come back again. Recording. Yeah. Bye bye, St Martha's Hill. We're carrying along the sandy path down towards Newlands Corner. Okay, yep, yeah, we found out where we are, and it's straight ahead now. You'll come to a sign in a minute where we cross the road again, and then we start going uphill towards Newlands Corner. Okay, here we are at Newlands Corner. I'm going to die with Newlands Corner. Newlands Corner. Paul's just explaining to me that. Um, a while back he did the whole, the Surrey section of the North Downs Way over one weekend. Which must have been pretty brutal for. He was. He was broken the next day. Great, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, it's a long walk but it's a nice steady gradient so it's really pleasant underneath. Nice tree cover. It's getting a bit warm. It looks like we might get a bit of rain later. This is the bird song. Yeah, bird song. Name that bird. Actually. I should have learned a bit about foraging as well, uh, which my friend Louisa is teaching me as we little bits and pieces, which is really cool. Oh, it's wonderful. Ah. This map. I'm still on the first map. Yeah, another map to go. Oh gosh. Little groove in the earth. There's still so many lovely bluebells. Oh, we're coming up to another road, I think. There's another road. Okay, we're in sheer woodlands. Uh, north down the way is this way. What's this rather charming old building? I don't know if it's used for a house, but it's quite nice. Uh, Paul and I can't quite work out what a giant tyre is doing. We found one just back there as well. Ah! Now, don't know what a big tyre is doing here. No. Okay, we have now got a fork in the road, public bridle way, north down the way, we'll find the north down the way down here. Oh, it's a new scenery. Well, we're it's in not, the, it's not really, we're in the woods. <laughs> but we're having a grand day. Can't see much of them. No. Gomshaw and Shearer are down there somewhere. Go out into the hillside in a sec. Mm -hmm. So we've just come into Blatchard Down. We've got opened up views for us. Slight rain in the air, which we thought was going to happen. And I've got our water proofs with us. So, yeah, I'm feeling droplets on my hand. Yeah, can you feel it coming down? You pulled this angle earlier on, which is correct. That as soon as you put your water proofs on, it stops raining. I'm on the high ridge now, and it's uh, obviously clouded over somewhat. So, uh, yeah, very showery. 
Who lives in a pillbox like, like this? this? Yes, you get down in there. Let's go through the pillbox. Okay, you're gonna have a quick look inside. Yes, you can go inside this one. Wow. Pretty cool. Imagine spending all those hours down here. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely aroma. <laughs> Lovely, a very nice aroma. I think it's the urine version of Glade. Although we're up in the Downs, I don't think there's many people are coming here for a piss. Go a bit off the normal. Some of the others may be. Yeah, it's very really interesting. The good thing about it is it's very dark in here, but this camera's got all my neat low lighting, so it's pretty good. And then out we go. <laughs> Thank you, Pillbox. It's also actually going one for once. And uh, onwards and upwards. Lovely view. As we come up, there's a, yep, there's another one. Um, and look, there's another one. Yeah, World War II pillboxes are all the rage here in the 1940s. Not so popular in the 50s. Uh, it's a funny man, oh, funny man. Rape seed on the top of the ridge. I oh, hear something different, just for a change. Another pillbox. Oh, we've already seen one already, we're not going to stop here. Just want to come inside because it's here. So we're going to carry on. But uh, yeah, there are fascinating things to come if we see one, come and have a look inside. Ah, and there's another pillbox, which actually has. More rape. Yeah, it actually has a rather lovely that's quite a rape view. Scene, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very yellow. Okay, as we're very tired, but that's not too shabby a view. Lovely thick bluebells. This has pretty much been a straight road, more or less, since Newlands Corner, and we're now nearly uh, near Ramore Common. It's been long, very nice. So there's Ramore Common. Follow Paul. I'm going to go across the common. Oh, it's nice to have a change of scenery, actually. Well, that's been very pleasant. Something a little bit different is always welcome. And we're in Steers Field. Steers Field National Trust. And a lovely view. You see over the there. Dorking. Lovely view of Dorking. Uh, do we go straight that way or that way? Go either way. Oh, we can go either way. Oh. I love choice. A little bit of road walking here as we come to St Barnabas Church at Ranmore. Beautiful, beautiful old church. Rather nice. Okay, here we have Denby's house, or the entrance to Denby's, which is obviously Denby's wine estate. The very famous Denby's vineyard. We'd like to say thank you for joining us on this next leg of the journey. The next leg of this will be uh, Box Hill to Rygate. To Rygate, which will be fun. We're into Mid Surrey now. I look some balls. There's Dorking. We're in we're sort of entering now Denby's wine estate on the last leg. So that's it. Thanks very much for joining us on this leg of the journey. Soon being Kent. And that's when it all gets interesting because we you know places we've never been to before. We know most of the Surrey section, but the Kent section will be new. So great. Thanks very much. See you next time. I've been dreading this a bit. We're actually going to be going up three ascents, really, isn't it? Box Hill, uh, Buckland Hill, and then Coley Hill where he lives. Uh, so, <laughs> I think we can do it though. We can do it. We're doing good progress through Sorry. So, uh, here we go. Okay. Coming down to, oh, I can see some steps already. Lovely river way. Mole. River Mole? It a mole it? Oh, it's a Mole River. Sorry, not River Way. Oh, we're not in Guildford anymore. Sorry. It's... What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> That's a River Mole. Down there. Mole ratty. This is the Stepping Stones footbridge. Erected June 1992. There it is. So here we go. Look at that. Paul was being a meanie. I said, can't we come down, sort of, okay. east to west? in order. We said, no, got to do it the correct way. So uh, we are going to do it the correct way. But at least we'll get nice views at the top of Box Hill, which I'm sure you'll see shortly. And uh, here we go. About three, probably three quarters away up, actually. Um, yeah. Absolutely shattered it's already. This guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> so uh, nearly there. Oh god. It's easy, really. Yeah, let's 
this. Most people with me are going down. But pull up. Me up. So if you look, uh, right over in the distance, that's uh, St Barnabas Church, and there's Denby's Wine Estate underneath, where we walked last week. And now we're heading over that way. Okay, still there. Here we go. Okay, so walking through this ancient trackway. Very ancient. And more and more evidence is suggesting that the route, the North Downs Way and the South Downs Way, goes all the way down to Avebury and Stonehenge, which is why we think there's such a big settlement there. It's like a termination point uh, from ancient travellers coming over from Europe when there was a landmass. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Yes, this is the, uh, the gravestone to a very famous horse. Yeah. Quick, yes. 1936 to 1944, an English thoroughbred. Well, that's lovely. Not very big. No, no. Yeah, it's a small horse. Just over a Might just be his bones though. That's really nice. That's really nice little. Okay, onwards we go. So here we go. Carrying on, heading down towards Betworth. Just watching our footing because it's a bit of a odd path coming down here, this little sunken path. And we don't want to trip over. This is a nice, lovely section of the walk actually. Just above Brockham and Brockham Lime Works. And there's. Hey, uh, how you doing? <laughs> you got the right spot. I forgot to say, uh, Betchworth Quarry here was also the location for the 1976 classic Doctor Who story, Genesis of the Daleks. Uh, double for Scarrow. So, yeah. Nice houses along here. Of course, there's a bit of road walking, but can't be helped. It's not very long. Uh, so on Pebble Hill, there's North Downs Way sign. And we go down here. The last time I passed it, this field was full of cows. They were quite docile. Down the way, way sign. Oh, no, they're not here. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, and carrying on this way. And we're heading up that way. Absolutely lovely. It's letting a runner come through. And we're just stopping for a quick second. It's a rather glorious view. This pass is rather nice, so pause on you. What the hell am I doing right back here? Up to the way sign. Oh, right. Right away opens all traffic. The hell it got down here? Come down there. So last time I was walking here last year, there was a car at the bottom of the ravine, which is still there. I don't quite know how it got there, but as Paul was saying, you can actually bring vehicles down here, but obviously ended up a bit unfortunate for someone, as it was joyriding. And, oh God, here we go, up again. So here's fun. Tripped over a wooden post that was on the floor, concealed, and sprained my ankle. A ah, little bit painful, it's going to be a bit better. Paul's been very good. Up. I'm manning up. Man up. You know, actually the pain's going off a little bit now, but when I start walking. Should I? Yeah. I don't like taking drugs where you don't need to. Um, yeah, I might do actually. Thank you, Paul. Can I just say for the record, this is not an excuse to get out of the final climb up Coley Hill. Although I don't quite know how I'm going to do that at the moment, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to there. It's not that far to go. Not far. But uh, we'll see when we get there. Just round the corner. Round the corner, mate. Here we go. The injuries got a little bit better, so we're doing not too bad. We're ready for the climb up Curly Hill in a minute. The leg seems to be better. Oh, sorry, the ankle needs to be better. Might be a bit swollen tomorrow, but the pain's gone. North Downs Way. We've done it. We'll go walk, start walking up in a minute. I think the I think my shoe's up for it. My, my ankle. Not looking forward to this. I'll have a quick drink and then off we go. Paul just said to me, 
just up in the corner up here is when it gets really steep. Like, what's this then? Okay, we did that in short bursts over at the top and coming out is Cody Hill down there. Here's one of the 19th century coal, packs, coal tax posts. So he's run out of breath. Just scattered along the, uh, the downs and around Epsom. So we're nearly the end of this stretch uh, where Paul lives. Um, thank you for joining us for this uh, rather strenuous walk from Box Hill to Coley Hill. Almost, well, Rygate Hill really. Um, and the next leg will be Rygate Hill down to probably upstairs as I said earlier. So, uh, thank you. Okay, welcome to leg four, is it? Leg four of the journey. Today we are, oh, there's a pole coming up. Um, today we are doing uh, Rygate Hill, where he lives, uh, down to Titsy Hill. Titsy. Titsy Hill. Aiming for Titsy. Oh. Yeah, aiming for Titsy, uh, which should be a very pleasant walk. A walk I've done quite a few times this part. Uh, and we'll have a pub lunch on the way and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. It's June and, oh God, June the 9th. Friday, June the 9th, and we're looking forward to it. And it's, uh, we're hanging today because we've just had the election. Yeah, we've had the election, it's all hanging. Yeah, I see what you did Political there. Political sound bites through this walk. Yeah, there might be some, as news unfolds. Because Mark <laughs> is very political. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we go. Thank you all. Yeah, so we're out onto Rygate Hill, or Coley Hill, and yes, it's raining. Of course it has to be raining. Typical. But hey, we shoulder on. We shoulder on? We sh soldier on. Okay, Sean Connery. Yeah. Gosh. As we walk up, there's the English Memorial. As you walk along Rygate Hill, here's a memorial site for a World War II bomber plane that crashed here in 1944, I think it was in really bad weather and the two markers are where what the wingspan would have been of that particular aircraft very sad there is a 17 flying fortress yep yeah. 1945 19th of march 1945 it's a very well known spot this and all the people who lost their lives here we are we're on rygate hill at the moment here's a nice Old milestone just outside Rygate Fort. I'm not going in, but here's um, Rygate Fort, one of the many forts built in the late 19th century. Very, very interesting if you ever up this way and have a look around. Owned and maintained by the National Trust. So here we go, crossing the old ornate bridge over the A217. Lovely old bridge this, isn't it? Yes. Raw iron, raw iron. So we come out into Ray Lane Car Park, very famous uh, viewing spot with the cafe and everything. And there's a view down to Rygate. Rather nice, very famous view as we move into Gatton Park. Gatton Park, here we go. And it's raining. And it's raining quite hard, but hopefully it won't last too long as we're heading down the North Downs Way. Now so then. Mark says, no, I don't need a waterproof. It's not going to rain much. Oh, I don't need, I'll just put my hood up, it'll be fine. So this is now 20 past 11, yep. and it's raining. It's raining. So we'll catch up later when we're in A&E, <laughs> when Mark's got pneumonia from getting soaked wet, but you never know. So the, the upshot of this conversation is, if Paul says, oh, do you want a waterproof? So Mark says, mm, I think I might do actually, Paul, thanks. Good. And buy one as well. So now it's stopped raining. Although, that's good. And as we all pass Gatton Park, here are the well-known Millennium Stones, uh, which is sort of an art installation piece, really. Although I know that I am, my knowledge of myself is not prior to myself. Heris Fiskion. Sphincter says what? Self, that's one of the quotes. On the stones. Yeah. These words can illuminate our day life today. Of course it can. Yes. Yeah. Does it illuminate about us walking? Yeah. Does it stop the rain now? No. Shall we, sir? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, the sun's come out now. I we've got soaking. Well, I got soaking. Paul didn't, as we explained earlier. And we're just passing Gatton School. The bar. The bar. So Gatton Park. Um, we're now down here and 
uh, picking up the trail. It's all good fun now the sun's come out. Okay, North Downs Way and that's where we go. Heading down towards Mersham. So we're out of the golf course and we're out into this lovely open field and views across to Mersham. We should come out by the historic Quality Street, which many people might know. Is it Mersham or Merston? I say it's Mersham. I've always said Merston. Yeah, my friend used to live there and he said Mersham. Uh -huh. But he was an idiot, so who knows. <laughs> um, he wasn't. So I don't know. Uh, I the say Mersham. You're welcomed yeah. on this video class. Yeah, please, please click on the, uh, on the comments section and let us know. Do it phonetic spelling, that'd be great, thank you. Okay, we just stopped under this tree because it is absolutely chucking it down. We'll, we'll hopefully it'll pass very soon because there's going to be showers today, but I didn't think it'd be this heavy, so yeah. I know, I know. Mm, yeah. Waterproof. Yeah, I know, he's mm. ruining his hair. <laughs> <laughs> so even in the pouring rain, we've come out past the Motion Cricket Club into the well known Quality Street with attractive cottages in the rain. And we go down here. You might not know the Mersham, but actually it was also the first public railway came through here in 1804. It's very interesting. We are a bit drenched, but we're doing all right. Over the M25. Over the M25. And shortly we'll be going under the M23. So this is where they both intersect slightly. Above the M25. We from Catherine's Church. This is up on a hill, I'm sure this has been an ancient site of worship going back to prehistoric times, to Neolithic times probably. Because St Catherine's Church has been here for a thousand years. It's a lovely old church. Paul and I just had a big whiff of the sun. So it's come out to play. I think hopefully rain has finished for the day. But it's a little bit grey over there still, but it should be fine. Here we go, let's cross the road as the sun's come out. There's the North Downs Way, way sign. We've overgrown and we're heading yeah, and there's another hill, we're going down underneath the M23 and then up again, which is going to be fun. It's a picturesque underpass to the M23. Look at that, isn't that lovely? So what we're going to do, we'll quickly stop here in just a quick second and de-robe because it's now getting quite hot and we've got a hill to climb, so here we go. Oh, we go walk up there, Paul. That's right. Up Hockley Hill. Through the crops. Through the crops. It's not actually that far, but it's a hill, go figure. So Paul and I just come from that where the rain was coming down and everything. But we're heading that way where it's sunny and blue sky. Unfortunately, our legs keep because the sand and mud is a little bit wet from the rain. Uh, feet keep slipping back, don't they? So it's a bit more strenuous than we thought, but we're nearly there. Okay, we're at the top of Oakley Hill. Oh, a bit tiring. And now, walking this way, you know, once we've cleaned off our boots a bit, <laughs> and heading down the North Downs Way, down here. So like I say, this little, about three quarters of a mile jaunt is actually one of my favorite bits of the whole walk because this is original North Downs Way. This is original ancient trackway that the ancestors would have used right up on the top of the ridge but in a drove road in later years and it's a real nice peaceful calm up here there's a nice view of London that way but it's a bit too misty to see at the moment but, uh, we're walking along there's a uh, Ordnance Survey Trig Point which have obviously been redundant for many years because we now use GPS but uh, still a great thing to see on the landscape Okay, we've joined the Pilgrim's Way, which also intersects with the North Downs Way. With Paul and I, and head down here for about, I think it's probably about two and a half miles. And our lunch stop at the Harrow Inn in Chaldon. Trying to walk carefully so we don't fall in the water or get lots of mud on us because there's plenty around after the rain. But there's a lovely vivid colour in the greenery, lovely. So 
here we are on the North Downs Way. In the right in the distance, now we've got a clearer sky. You can see that there, London. It's a shard, I think, right in the distance. As me and, as me and Paul walked by, there's nothing like seeing uh, an aeroplane in your back garden. Standard, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely glorious. A really nice stretch of the route as we go down to Caterham after lunch and Caterham Viewpoint. So we just had lunch in the Harrow, which is very nice, wasn't it, Paul? Very nice. Very nice. And now we're going to head down to a War Coppice Road. And here's a tower in the 18th century in Tower Farm. Now ruined, of course. Now walking down War Coppice Road. A bit of road walking, unfortunately, going downhill. Heading to Forest, out onto Cape Room Viewpoint. So about another six miles to go. So, here we go into Woodland. We're in the North Downs Way via Hextall's Lane. Downs Way, and here we go. Walking off our lunch at the moment on the beverage. But uh, it's all good. So there we have it. Out into Caterham Viewpoint. This is rather splendid. I've not walked this section before, this is going down to Caterham, so it's all new. But uh, it's fun exploring somewhere new. There's the Acorn sign, and we're going down this way, down some steps. I knew it was here somewhere. And this goes over the A25? 22. A22, of course. Now we've opened up into glorious fields. We have another hill to climb back up in a minute. One of the things that makes our blood boil, fly tipping. This place is prominent for it, apparently. Walking past, there's a Godstone Vineyard. Look, sounds way it's just up there. Getting a bit tired now. Yeah, we are getting a bit tired. Weary. Weary, love, weary. That's, yes, I know where we go. Yes, I remember this. Enjoying trip up to the top of the Waldingham Hill. Quick water and then pressing on. Yeah. Feeling it a bit now. We've done quite a few miles today, so a bit of hill walking. We just see some deers. We're absolutely and they're still there. Just a bit of some deer, see the deer? Oh. Yeah, there they are. Oh, lovely deer. Okay, here we go, out onto the... We can come to a walk. Out onto the road. View down to the South Downs. You've got to be careful. Uh, sit down here. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, that's it. Here we are. You're absolutely right. Here's a little viewpoint and look out over the M25, down towards Oxted. It's a rather... Rather nice view. Yeah. We can see the end in sight, which is over there with the, and then up Limpsfield Hill. Over there where the green, sorry, where the yellow field is. So an end is in sight. This, this is parallel yeah. to the bus right. Well, I think it? it's for access, there must be some access uh, chamber or something. Oxted Downs now, near the end of the walk. Okay, come off the road, there it is, and we're going up before we end. Paul and I have got a walk up Oxted Common, which is all uphill to get to the car. So it's got to be done. It's like Box Hill last time, you know, it's always a big hill at the end. But it's only a tiny bit. Is it? It's only that little bit there. Oh, it's all right. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. And this guy is running up where we've got to go, so we can't complain. Good luck to him, mate. Oh, just come across the snail. I've never seen a snail that big before. The skull go. Wow. As yeah, we walk up there, horse is the end of our fourth jaunt. Uh, we're a bit almost. There. Yeah, almost there. Next time we're coming from Tipsy to 
to into Kent. Into Kent yeah. for the first time. We're going through West Durham. Uh, Holt. Yeah, not Holt. Not towards Oxford. Mm. Apparently. This is great. Thank you for joining us on this video diary. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. See you next time. We are picking up at the top of Titsy Hill by Botley Farm House and we're going to do the next part of the North Downs Way down to Otford as we move into Kent, which is all rather lovely. So here we go. There is the North Downs Way and we're heading down here. Four and four. We're off this way. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Okay, walk down here. We're going left up this encampment. Let's do it. It's always going up there. But yeah, so yeah. we like that. I was a bit of a whiny moaning Bloody uphill. <laughs> uphill again but think of all the all that workout you're getting yeah it doesn't even warm up no <laughs> okay we're coming up to a gate out into a field uh, we're heading to oxteads down that way probably over there and we're heading towards westerham churchill's home not anymore that's a glorious view Walking over the top encampment of the North Downs. Lovely views. So we're doing another walk on Friday from Watford to well we haven't decided yet where we're gonna to get to. So we're making good progress on this. After a month or so, a couple of months off because of work and what have you. Oh wow, what a view the cyclist just said. <laughs> just as we go past the logo sculpture for the Surrey area of outstanding natural beauty in the Surrey Hills. A lovely sound of the church in the background. It's on Clark's Lane, we're going to... See which way they come, whether they come this way. Oh yeah, we've got cyclists. A little bit of road walking, it's a very small road though, it's a little, very, very minor road. It's small. It's small. Um, it's very nice. I think Western's probably over there. This is the house with the wind in the willows. Paintings on the wall, I hope they don't mind me. Just, uh, it's really cool, look at that. Mole End, Mole rather end. than Rat End. Ratty. And the actual house is called Mole End. Okay. Cool. So we've come to this little junction, and we're going all that way. That way, down past all these nice houses, where rich people live. Yeah. Got a free range for every yeah. house. They don't even let middle class people around here. Oh no. Berkeley patrols. Yeah. There's a middle class person. Can you um, shoot them on? Walking, please. <laughs> no dilly dallying. No dilly dallying. We've got. 148 miles that way. Yeah. And Canterbury, 65 miles. And Dover, 77. So Dover, yeah. 77 is what we're aiming for. Yeah. So we're not even halfway. We're not even halfway. Ah. It's cool. That's a waymark sign. It's quite a. Landmark. That's good to see though, isn't okay. it? That is good to see. Still standing. No yeah. No one's demolished it. No one's demolished it, yeah. Right, onwards. This is a really pleasant walk. Ooh, we've got a little bit of rain water here. Let's go around this way. <laughs> There's mud falls in. There's mud falls in. It's a really pleasant bit of route. Unfortunately, there's no villages or anything on the way until we get to pretty much the end. So there's not that much to show you apart from pretty scenery. But really, that's one of the reasons you do the walking. Yeah, but you watch this to see us, obviously. Come on. And our um, charm and wit. Yes, our charm and wit. <laughs> ah, and ending the we're coming up to, is it Western Road? It's the, the road that goes into Western Road. Going away, all right. right. Probably is called Western Road. Yeah, Western Road. We like Western, very nice. Lovely, nice, nice walk around there, actually. Churchill, sir. Oh. Chartwell, sir. So this is as far as I've got in two days. So this is 50 miles from Farnham. So it's new territory. 50 miles, so this is when you did your charity walk in 2011. So now we're getting into Kent. We're getting to Kent. On pretty much, is this pretty much the border, isn't it? It is, so down there to Westrum, up there to uh, Biggin Hill, Orpington, mm. yes. the borough of Bromley. And we're going... So we're going down and then a really nice steep hill. Oh, lovely. So I love steep hills. Right. Struggle. Okay, we're going to do, try and cross this road. Here we go. I'm coming out oh, into an open field. Oh, we haven't found these steps yet up Westrum Hill. Oh, that's rather nice. Look at that, kids. Wow. Yeah, lovely. We'll let the lady have a little bit of a 
head start, otherwise we're That's on each other's tails all the time, aren't we? Bit of privacy on the North Downs Way, yeah. exactly, exactly. This is my walking space. This is your space. We like walking space, it's a lovely view. The M25 in the background, but we can't hardly hear it now, so it's fine. God bless you. It's not the 39 steps, it's the 43 steps. 43 steps. It's the sequel, 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 sequel to Hitchcock's film. Yeah, he's a funny man, isn't he, Paul? Funny man. Right, oh, we can hear a gate. Ooh. Ooh, so we're going up there. Right, off. I'm following you, sir. Let's do this. It's only 43 steps. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like bloody box hill again. Right, we're going to go up a hill in a second. I'll quickly show you this. I don't know if you can see it. It's like synchronised flying by aeroplanes. To guide the direction yeah. of the North Downs Way. When my dad brings the kids to cut them. Oh, right. Woodcraft folk. Woodcraft folk. Outdoor activity folk. I think this is the walk to come here. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? So walk from the centre. So we're going north down the way that way. Right. Yeah, very nice walk so far. Now I've got the hill out of the way. <laughs> Job done. We think this was the field actually where there's loads of cows, but obviously there's no cows today. Um, I can't remember when calfing season is, but uh, obviously give cows a wider berth, guys, if it is calfing season. So we've come from there, and we're now going this way. Not Holt. Not Holt, which is near Biggin Hill. And Cotham. So, all oh, very nice, yes. Nigel Farage used to live. Did he? Yeah, well, yes, because he, he was seen in a pub in Down, yeah. where uh, Charles, Charles Darwin's, Darwin's house is down. Nigel Farage. Yeah. There's evolution nice for you. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be a nicer date than that. Yeah. yeah. So, Northwest local rambler. Yeah, Northwest Kent Rambler's Interactive Memory of Frank Hellman, 1911 2005. That's a nice good inning. Keen Walker and Great Companion, so that's lovely. Okay, we haven't got a sign here, but we think we go through here. Uh, yes, there's a sign. Uh -huh. Let's just check that. Here comes someone with their dog. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it sounds right. So we're going to go that way. Cool. Easy one to miss. Yeah. Oh look, and there's the M25 right down there. And look, there's an original North Downs Way sign. Co coming up to it's crossing a road here, a little B road. And we go through here, across the road over there. Of course, if you're doing the North Downs Way, you need to be really skinny. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh. I climbed over that because I've got my shorts on. <laughs> But that was a crowd that. I need looking at national trails. Right, uh, this way, yes, across the road. Alan Z for all our continental guests. Yes, yeah. Oh, he's clever, isn't he? Oh, we have cows in this field. Oh. oh. And a broken pistol. Okay, here we go. One. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping the cows of wide berth over there. Okay, out onto the road again. Oh, it's rope this. Oh, it's another bit of a broken one, Paul. <laughs> To a road here. Actually, there's road. <laughs> people stuck up there trying to get past. Not cold, three quarters of a mile. Ah, not cold. So we go across here. Wolf Downs Way. Way! And yeah, there it is. More cows. There's a lot of cows we pass through. And I don't go in fields of cows so I can avoid it. So on the North Downs Way, you haven't really got much choice. Unless you go along the main road. They seem docile, they're cool. And the chap in front, he's our canary in the cage. <laughs> Down the mines. <laughs> Checking this okay. That's a nice little section. Yes. Yeah. That's a review of the uh, the weald, anymore. Yes. It's a lovely field of wheat. It's very nice. Right, so we got not cold pound. Okay. So the sign font changes as we go into Kent. Not cold that way, we go that way. So we're... So this P, we're at P. We're at P. Sundridge Hill. Sundridge so Knock Holt is just here. Yeah, that's right. And so walk parallel to Knock Holt to Pound. Well, there's two pubs. Oh, two pubs. Do you want to have a break oh, there? We're not heading that far. Oh, no, oh, damn. <laughs> and then we've got the view of Chevening House or Chevening? Yeah, Chevening House. Chevening? I think it's Chevening House. Yeah. 
Once Russia. again, if, people, if we can ever pronounce anything wrong, please put in the comment section below. Now we're in some more woodland. Very nice. I've got to, I said it earlier, I've got to stop, I said, oh, no. I've got to stop saying nice all the time. Pleasant. And but great. that really sort of sums up the walk there, doesn't it? Nice and pleasant. Great. Great. Sorry about that. I'll try and think of something more Super. engaging to describe it as a metaphor. Character form. Yeah, character form. Green. Oh. Warm. That's much clearer. Yeah. View of Canary Wharf. So we go that way along this little. I was saying earlier, I love the way that you get into Kent and the font changes on the signs. Sorry, County Council have their own font. Been I say they had their own font because I'm a bit of a font geek. Not the kind of thing you really want to admit on a video, but hey, I just have. So, on for the knowledge. Yeah. Well, it can't be that way. Um, oh, footpath, Sorry. Cheveling, one mile. Okay. Yeah, come round, letting those ramblers ahead just get ahead of themselves so we're not trotting on each other's feet. Here's the, M, here's the M26, isn't it? Oh, here's a stop point. We'll have a stop and have a little bit of a breather. This is quite glorious open countryside. Absolutely lovely. Oh, damn, said lovely. No, lovely is no, lovely's all right. I haven't said lovely that enough. Nice and pleasant. I can't really use too much. Undulating. Undulating, yes, that's a good. They use that a lot in uh, walking books. Undulating <laughs> countryside. <laughs> Undulating walking. Sometimes the signs are a little bit concealed, so you need to, especially in summer when things are overgrown, you need to be extra vigilant. But it is a very well waymarked uh, route, one of the best probably. Yes, and there's the church in the distance, which they said you can see from the top of the... Oh. Down the way, road crossing ahead. I think you can hear it's a road crossing. So, um, okay. Quite dangerous road for a walk in there, so you have to be really careful. So it's two years by road walking, hopefully coming to, to an end soon, but we're nearing end. There's Oxford sign, where we're going to terminate the wall today. We are at the Donington Manor Hotel, but we're going here, off Downs Way, Oxford, one and a half miles. So we're going along. This is the Durrant Country Park Walk that we're on now. It goes round the village. And I was wrong actually, I thought we were done with country walking, but no, we are now out in paddocks, horse paddocks. So look at this, we weren't expecting this at the end of the wall, were we, sir? Very nice. Yeah. Right. Comes the end. Have you enjoyed this part of the walk, Paul? It's been lovely. It has been very lovely. It's great. It's been great. Yeah, very lucky. Good company. What more could you ask for? He always says the nicest things. Um, yes, good company. And here comes little cat. Coming in. No? All right. See ya. That's the River Durrant. And we're on High Street, on Pilgrim's Way West, apparently. We're coming in on the High Street at Otford. It's been a lovely walk. The old Tudor building in Otford. I saw us on the internet before we came here. Next to an old 1800 chapel, probably now a house. Paul and I come to the end of the walk, we're very grateful for a lift back to um, the bar. Can't even speak, to the bottom. Oh, no. So Paul and I are in Otford. We just dropped her, his car off uh, in Cuxton. Cuxton, near the Medway. Uh, so it's been quite a bit of a drive this morning. Uh, and now we're in Otford where we finished off last Sunday and heading on the North Downs Way. Let's go. There's the ancient pond in Otford. We're just making sure we know where we're going. <laughs> As we're going up the hill, one of the original Downs Way signs. Okay, well, this way to Kelting on the Pilgrim's Way Road. And there we are, North Downs Way signs. And we're North going... Downs Way, you have to walk like this. <laughs> you do. to the side. <laughs> there you go, with your arms stretched. Okay, we're a bit confused, we have to follow the road a bit. As we said before, it's very well wayfined, the North Downs Way. But occasionally you've got to keep your eye on the ball. So we're just looking at the map as we go along and hopefully it's a little turning off one of these roads. If not, we'll have to head back. Okay, we found it, that's the old sun castle. We're going this way now. Oh yes, I saw this on um, 
works like this little route. Yes. It's only a tiny little bit of road walking, which is great. So we come out of this rather nice house across this orchard. Oh, orchard. This is a word we don't use enough of. Orchard. Orchard. So we go. Fruity. Fruity. You can tell we're in Kent now because the North Downey is one of those signs, as I said, has got a different font. So I think we're going to the next way. That way. I love these old little gates and walls. So we come out on this rather lovely view across Kent. This is rather lovely. As we, uh, the North Downs is all about the chalk. Chalk Downs. It's all very nice, very sunny. If you remember back to the uh, third video, I think it was, when I got drenched, got down a bit of waterproofs, Paul very kindly thought ahead and actually bought me waterproofs. So that's very nice, I'm going to buy some this week. I just don't like weighing myself down with stuff from walking. I can see a train from here. I can see a train from here, yeah. That's a lovely view. We're walking to a field. Oh, look at beautiful steed. Oh, aren't they lovely? Hello. Oh, they're gorgeous. And there's a cross in the fields and the Kai books don't quite know what it's doing there, but there you go. And as we walk through the field, this is an old wall, I think was part of the old manor, probably the old kitchen wall, which is lovely because the view is rather spectacular, as you can see. So we've got to get our skates onto Rotham, Rotham, where we're going to have lunch because the pub we want to go to is stop serving food at 2.30. Ten past quarter past twelve now, so it's a nice old building there. But actually, I don't so Paul saying looks very oldly wood. I don't think actually as old as probably seems, but unusual design. And there's one of the lovely North Downway markers. Farnham 60 miles that way and Canterbury 54 miles that way and Dover, 65 miles that way. We are doing the Canterbury Loop, so that's lovely. Very cool. Come from there onto a little bit of road walking, just crossing the road, more or less. As we head downwards. Yes, there it is, yeah. North Downs Way to Rotham is only two and a quarter miles, so we should be on good time. Should be on good time for dinner. Because you've got to have, yeah, you've got to have the right tool for the right job. And there's some right tools around there. There are some right tools around. There's two right here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> right, yeah, right. Oh, we're, we're going down over this field. Lovely field. Hey! Oh, very cool. Uh, going down this field and heading towards Rotham, or Rotham. Once again, sorry if we pronounced it wrong, put it in the comment section. Okay, so, it's all signed and we're going off-road now. Down this way. So we're on a boat. Yeah. We're right away boat. open to all traffic. Oh right. Okay, so we, we could get run over by four by fours. So we've got to be vexed careful. Okay, coming out into this road. And we're just going across. Rotham one and a quarter miles. And we're going down there. The growing field over there. I hope it's not too blowy, like because it's only a domestic can cord I'm using for this. I don't know how the sound will sound until I'm cutting it later on. So apologies if you just hear wind. Yeah. <laughs> hey! And I hope you heard that joke. If not, I think you can work it out. That's if you heard me say wind in the first place. Let me get my chef. Alright, some nice houses. Oh, that's a lovely house. We we'll go down that way, but if we go this way, we, still, we don't avoid part of the North Downs Way. So, on the lovely old properties, there's the church. It's time for lunch. Here we are. Awesome. Very much enjoying our lunch. Paul's got... <coughs> what have you got, Paul? Moose money. It looks really nice. I have an omelette and salad. It's lovely as well. So we've had lunch at the Rose and Crown, which is really nice. 
and now we're just going to walk back up. Of course, it's getting a thick photo, and we're going to rejoin the North Downs Way just past the church. Okay, just finding the bridge to cross over. Rotham Water. Okay, so it's just going on down this hill, following the road. It is down, then up. Remember, kids, the countryside code. When you're walking, doing road walking, make sure you have the traffic. You're facing the traffic because it's oncoming. Walk on the right side of the road, not the wrong side. Yeah. Mm. There's some hop houses over there. I mean, how many roads can be called Pilgrim's Way, really, in Kent and Surrey, for that reason? There's so many, uh, but we're carrying on down. The NDW. Okay, NDW. Let's get uh, phonetic and uh, phonus over there. And we're going down here. This is quite a long route again. We're pretty much working level, but we have this glorious scenery to our right, which is lovely. As Paul and I walk up this steep encampment. We uh, wonder how this old microwave that seems to have been here for ages got here. Why would someone dump a microwave halfway up part of the North Downs Way? <sighs> Ridiculous, isn't it, Paul? Hey? It's a microwave. That's a microwave. See that, everyone? He's, he's clever. He's he's a performer. I'm a real actor, of course. Um, microwave. Well, I'm here all week. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, just be aware this is a bit of a dangerous road, actually, the one we're walking on. We've had a couple of Duty vehicles come bombing down. Let's be careful, guys. Uh, Kent's got some great standing stones. People who know me, I'm very much into stone circles and ancient monuments. Uh, the Golden Stones are near here and by the National Trust. And the chestnuts, I must admit, I've never heard of them, which is interesting. But people have seen my videos uh, for Avebury, I've been going to for 25 years, know what an obsessive nut I am about that place. Very powerful energy centre. It's a nice uh, cathedral of trees walking through in the country park and we walk down the way. It's very nice. We're thinking it's going to rain. So the atmosphere is changing. You always sense it's going to rain. I think it's going to. So. I don't see it so much on the camera because it's uh, got good low light. But it's really dark because the cloud covers come over so it's uh, a little bit creepy. It's really got trees like that. Bit excited now. We're going to uh, Cauldron Lung Barrow, a place I've wanted to see all my life, and I've never been here before. So, as predicted, just peeing it down. But I think it's only a heavy shower as it's in the weather, so I hope it will pass very soon. There it is, Cauldron Lung Barrow, and it's absolutely chucking it down. I really want you to see this properly. Like a mini Glastonbury, you've got all the little offerings on the tree from all our pagan friends. There's a lot of Avery and Swallowhead Spring. Nice top rain, a little bit of a rainbow coming up. I don't know if you can quite see it. Probably not, it's a bit too faint at the moment. Above the streets and houses, ring goes flying high. Well, there it is, yeah. It's uh, six and a half miles to Cuxton, where we parked Paul's car. We're trundling on, just looking down, and we found a pillbox. I don't think it is a pillbox, actually. See, it's another nice rainbow in the distance. Soaring on towards Cuxton at the end of the day's walk. Getting a bit broken now. We just quickly stopped to admire the view, not the industrial view, <laughs> but the, the view. We're sort of heading that way over the hills and into Cuxton. It's been good. So peaceful. Okay, as we walk up, we've come to this. 
Oh joy. It's got to be done. Other than when we get home. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Got nothing for you, mate. No, sorry. No. Sorry. Just passing Holly Hill House. It's an old flint building. They're lovely. That's rather wonderful. Okay. We're now walking through an estate, apparently. So the notice said back there, but this is the way the North Downs Way goes. Not far from Cuxton. Paul and I are a little bit broken now. It's been 15, actually about 15.5 miles though, as you can see in front. We took a detour of about half a mile to Cauldron Lungbarrow. But it's been a great day, really nice day. Oh, great company over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit more and we'll be at the end. It's a nice one. We'll come out of the forest, just heading down here then up again. It's a nice little park. I'm not sure. Nearly, nearing the end, probably about a mile to go. So come out by all those lovely cottages. Nearly, nearly in Cuxton. Of course, just checking the map. That's would be rather nice. Because we is in Upper Bush. Oh, the locks you'd have with that for name. Seeing some detectorists in the field. Look. If I point the camera, they might freak out thinking we well, we're from uh, English heritage. Yeah, okay. We've got the right to do this field, you know. Yes. Right, which way are we going now? It's we're going across the field. Across that way. Oh, nearly there. Oh, Ten to seven. It's a long, hard walk. But fun. Just going over the railway bridge. There's quite a few. I shall do this under your eyes there. Yeah. There it is. We've got 0.8 miles left. As the sun dims, casting a long shadow, we walk over this lovely field up towards Cuxton. We think, what a great day it's been. As we stroll back to the car, just around the corner, there's the River Medway. And after 17 miles today, including its diversions, that's our lot done. Um, until next time, thanks for joining us. So here we are at Cuxton, where we finished last time. Paul and I are about to go over the Medway Bridge, I think. Down the Sunshine. Yeah, a bit of Sunshine. And we're going down to Detling. We thought it was Boxley, it's not actually. We're going to Detling, a uh, lovely little village there. It's about 10 miles today. And the weather's glorious, very warm. It's going to be good. And join us. A bit of road walking at the beginning, I'm afraid, as you can probably hear over the Medway Bridge. Uh, but hey, we've even graffitied near Rochester the North Sounds Way sign. This is a bit sad, but hey ho, I'm going to see Medway Bridge. And we're going uh, that way. This is the, the Eurostar train travelling across the Medway Viaduct on high speed, set a new UK speed record 208 miles per hour. Wow. Best to drive 2003, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, you learn something new. That's Cuxton for you. Right. And across the midway. We've missed two high speed trains coming, Eurostar coming through the tunnel. They've not been good footage, but they go so the fast. Out there. Yeah. Uh, didn't, but, get, didn't even get the numbers either. No. Sorry about that. But he's going very fast. Very fast indeed. Unfortunately, on this part of the route. Oh, there's. there's oh, oh, no, it's not going to. Crossing the river, it's a bit of a long walk, so it's not very pleasant. But hopefully, it's not yeah. But it's not very nice with all the traffic noise and pollution and what have you. In the distance, uh, away from the Premier, and you can just see Rochester Castle. There's a lot to visit, but uh, we know we're near there. So. We're just under the Midway Bridge, and we're going to go over the road in a second. Between the bridges. Let's go between the bridges. Over there. So a bit clouds come over a little bit. Not much. Oh no, sun's coming out again now. Blackberries against 
the end of the season. Yeah. There's a nice host house. You can tell you're in Kent. Very distinctive to this county. It's a very Nashdine nature reserve. Just walking up the encampment. As you look down, you've got the motorway down the bottom there. But that's fine. We're enjoying it, aren't we, Paul? Yes, indeed. We are indeed. Lovely day. Lovely day. We're following sort of two tracks. There's a track there and a track here. We, I think they're both the same. But we have a guidebook if worst comes to us. After all, track like this, we've been walking for quite a while actually. Pleasant. Oh, some views opening up there yeah, now. Over towards Sheppey. Over towards Sheppey. We've finally got a view of office blocks and stuff. Lovely. That's a bit of flint work. We've come out to a little bit of an opening. And, ah, we have a signpost. We love these signposts. And Bluebell Hill, one and a half miles. That way. Medway Bridge, one quarter. Yeah. One quarter. Oh, but your, your thing says four miles. It's on four, so far. Yeah, so yeah, we're not forgetting the little bit at the beginning. And About an hour, mile and a half over the bridge. Yeah. yeah so it's a bit more than that, I reckon. Yeah. That's, That's great. Well, what are they talking about? So, yeah, let's go down a bit of Bluebell Hill. Fly tippers, we are watching. Good. We've got a little opening of a bit to show you. Hey, luckily we saw this sign. We might have carried on walking, otherwise we've got to walk through here. Ah, okay. Oh, it leads, opens up to nice scenery. Let's sit on the bench. Yeah, see where we are. And here's a memorial to the Kent Air Ambulance disaster back in 1998. Sad. I'm leaving this viewpoint. Going to go a bit downhill, heading towards Kitts Coty House, ancient dolmen monument. Yep, we're on the right, North Downs Way. Okay, as we come up, oh yeah, here I can go across this bit here. There's a, a road passing near, with water everywhere, uh, and about this way. They're not very nice for the noise, but we will just by the motorway. As we head towards Kit's Cody House. Enjoying yourself today, Kit? I am actually. Yes. Yeah, very nice. Very short walk. Yeah, ten miles. I said something. I said uh, I was doing quick ten miles. I mean, just a quick ten miles. But ten miles to me, a couple of years ago, would have been like what? <laughs> and now pff, we laugh in the face yeah, of ten miles. Yeah, ten miles. Pa. Sorry. Just you hopefully fellow will see the humour in that. So here we go. Show you Kids County House. Ancient monument. Well preserved dolmen here in Kent. On the Medway stones. And I've never been here before, much like our stone circles. And I'm so pleased to finally see it. So uh, yeah. down that bit to a burial chamber, Little Kits Coty. It's interesting actually when you get burial mounds and burial sites of uh, Neolithic origin uh, in England, they're sometimes very near ancient trackways. Avebury especially is right by the Ridgeway. Um, Kits Coty House right on the North Downs Way. Actually the North Downs Way and the South Downs Way does actually transverse all the way to uh, the Wiltshire Downs at Avebury. It's uh, interesting that our ancestors use these old routes to uh, become more and more in mainland. This little stretch actually is where the leaves and everything have curled over. It's all part of a complete circle. Okay, here we go. We've got under it's the bits, kind of uh, Battlestar Galactica. It is very Battlestar Galactica actually yeah. designed. It's like a. That's like the hangar bay. The hangar bay. <laughs> so say we all. Just crossing one of the high speed railways. The great if a train came through, but yeah. I bet it, 
Of course it's not going to come through. Not on our watch. <laughs> so we're in Proxy Warren Local Nature Reserve and actually where the high speed rail channel channel link was built they found uh, an old uh, Neolithic longhouse and dated back to 4000 BC so it's um, one of the earliest well dated Neolithic structures in the country. It's very interesting. And also on the route here is the White Paul Stone. Very well known ancient stone part of a barrow. Right, so we are coming up here uh -huh. just from the Westfield Wood and through here north of Boxley into Detling. Detling. We're just going back uphill. Probably about another three miles to go. About another three miles. Letting three ladies go ahead so we're not sort of Stalking them. No. We'll be passing another North Downs Way milestone, Dover 46 miles. Ah, brilliant, brilliant. And then you follow the line of ancient Ridgeway. Yep. Ooh. Oh. So once you get to the top, it's a bit of a Ridgeway. Oh, there's nothing like a steep climb towards the end of your walk. So here's another North Downs Way marker stone. Find them 79 miles that way. Canterbury, 34 miles that way, Dover, 46 miles that way. There's a famous hollowed out tree which is on the, on the way. We're going this way as we have walkers behind us, some ladies. So we're not uh, tripping over one another. So we're on the part of the ancient ridgeway. Uh, not the ridgeway that goes to Avery, not that ridgeway. There's a lot of tracks called ridgeway though. This is the ancient ridgeway, so an ancient path used by our ancestors, I'm sure. You hear the buzz of the uh, electricity going okay, through the pylons as you open up to a little viewpoint. And you can hear the buzzing on the camera, but it's there. It's come out by this little <laughs> Canterbury to Glastonbury. A walk, ah, following off a monk's trail, isn't that amazing? The horses in the field, with the sheep, keep chilling out, coming up to a farm, um, nearly the end. Come out by the road, just trying to head on a path. Head on a path, the path, oh here we are. That's probably where the sign was. Out into the field, got creaking branches lying up against another tree. It keeps creaking in the wind, which is a bit worrying. There's not much, not much we can do about it. <laughs> you wait until it falls. Yeah, wait till it falls, yeah. Not a bit of a view out there. We were just commenting, oh, it's nice. Some of these trackways do go on and on and on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's never diversion, just something different, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's right. With no view. <laughs> With no view. So we've been walking on this trail now for quite a while and the thing is this field here is the one where you, we had the electricity pylons which was ages back. Well, well not ages back, probably only about half an hour but yeah it's quite a long track this. But we're getting there, we're about to turn off anyway down to the village and the pub. Okay here it is. I think we're going steeply downhill now. Down this looks like an old drove road. Great. Yep, down we go. Actually, find out going downhill is quite steeply. It's actually sometimes worse for your calves than climbing back up. It's quite a steep climb down here. And here we are, coming out into Detling. Well, we're finishing the walk today. We're going to go for a drink in the Cock Inn. Yes, a lovely little village. Just, just cross crossing Jade's Crossing. Very sad memorial. So a couple of people were killed back in 2000 when they were campaigning that this was a dangerous road. So far we finish. Have you enjoyed today? Yeah. Nice experience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he was walking the Chilterns yesterday. Yeah. yeah, 17 miles. 17 yesterday. miles, 17 miles around the Chilterns. 11 today. Yeah. Yeah. Just coming over the road, back down to the pub. And we're just going in there, the cock horse. We're in the back way. Thanks guys, see you next time. So here we are back in Detling. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, walk 8. Uh, we're doing Detling to Charing. So this morning we drove to Charing, got the train into East Maystone, 
then got a bus from Maidstone to down to Latch, not that far from here, up to Detling. Been very sustainable today. Yeah, very sustainable. So, uh, John Snake, part of the walk. We're heading more and more towards Canterbury, and uh, I hope to show you some sights on the way. Here we go. So there was a cock horse we went to at the end of the last walk. So just past the um, cock horse inn, we've got this Tudor gateway, which is rather nice. It's really cool. Obviously, it's a mo modern door. Well, modern-ish. Yeah, lovely. Following Thomas of Becket's murder in Canterbury Cathedral in 1170, countless pilgrims treading in the footsteps of Henry II following the pilgrims' way to the shrine of St Thomas. Oh, right, that's Here interesting. As in T.S. Eliot's yeah. uh, kind of murder in a cathedral. That's nice old buildings. Look at that. So we just turned off and now we're heading upwards up to the scarp. Actually you can nearly quite miss that sign nearly but luckily we saw just it. Because yeah. Yeah. we were looking on the map. We're looking on the map so we're going up there. It's a very nice spot. Lovely scenery. Another nice view back to Maidstone. White Horse Wood, King County Council. I don't look, it doesn't look much like a wood to me. Just navigating these rather steep steps back down. We just climbed all the way up, now we're climbing back down again. Here you go, that's a little road here. Ah. I can't get out. Ah. Something has some hang gliding. Hang gliding club. Oh. It says don't do it on these days because there's a shooting club as well, so it's not a good time to do hang gliding. No, <laughs> those two don't really compliment each other, do they? I'll just say that the castle is up this way. So, we've made a slight detour, only by 100 yards, to come to Thurnham Castle. First mentioned in 1225. This is just the remains. of the outer wall. Absolutely fascinating. Well, let's go through for Port Cullis. <laughs> oh, he's a funny man. He's a funny man. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We're going this way. Some of these lumps of concrete are over 10 years old. <laughs> feel the energy. Ancient sarsens. <laughs> They're not, obviously. Right, we're going to Thurnham Castle Whitehorse Country Park. Oh, okay. Looks nice. I like woodland. Probably because I'm an old hippie, but uh, let's get one with nature, yeah? This walk, we've got some ascents and descents, quite a few actually. Um, but the next section we do next time is pretty much even. But the good thing about it is that we're on the high scarp. We've got great views as we're walking along, which is nice. And here comes the... Oh, we're going down, so it must be down then up. See it, top pole. Okay, here we go. We've navigated the steps. Looking through its lovely leaves coming off this autumn. Or the fall, as they call it in the US. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Very big field of crop. It's been going on for a while. We're getting hot. Uh, but it's lovely blue sky. <laughs> nice little pig farm we've just come across. Bless them. North Downs Way viewpoint. Have a quick look over there. We're just heading into Hollingbourne. We're going to stop for lunch and uh, a drink, I think. It's been quite hilly, lots of ups on this section, which is a bit tiring, but all good. We're coming into Hollingbourne and our lunch stop at the Dirty Habit. Lunch at the Dirty Habit, very nice, isn't it? Very nice, bit posh. Yeah, a bit posh, very nice. There's a medieval, uh, medieval our dining room. And now we're proceeding along this lovely little route. Welcome to the Dirt Hat. 13th century pub. I'm not sure it is 13th century, really. Yeah, in some parts. I don't think the whole pub is. I think it's a bit of a misleading there, but hey. Probably got one wall that was built in the 13th century. 
but very nice food. I thoroughly recommend going there. That's the uh, what's it called? The dirty habit. The dirty in habit Hollingbourne. in Hollingbourne. Loads of pheasants ahead, but they, they run off really quickly, unfortunately. We've got quite a long stretch here. Yeah, it's pretty much all the way to the end. Yeah, so, like so it might be not much to look at, but it's still pleasant around the countryside. It's a Monday afternoon. It's lovely, it's warm. Walking down, yeah. walking off the alcohol. Walking off the alcohol and, the, and our lunch. That's all good. This large field Paul was saying, actually, these bollards here are to stop travellers uh, getting in the field. Quite common round here. Right. Here we go. Coming up to Harry Atcham. And uh, it's pretty much a straight way all the way down to Charing, more or less. So it's nice, eh? So here's another Pilgrim's Way, but this is at least the real Pilgrim's Way going down to Canterbury. So we let it off. Paul and I just commenting that these posh house up the top here of the hill uh, probably doesn't have too shabby a view when they wake up in the morning. Here we go up and it's the pilgrim bench. We're going to have the photo taken which we're going to do now. All right, we're on our way mate, see you later. You can walk with us. Shall I? <laughs> I'm a cat person, honestly. The Charing is four and three quarter miles. Probably five miles of diversion to get to the train station. A bit broken today. It's a lot of, you know, it's, it's eased out now. This section's quite easy, but yeah. Like most of the North Downs way, unfortunately, you've got to put up with the road traffic of the nearby A roads and M roads motorways and but hey it's all good. So there's a big cross in the field which you can't really see from here. We moved to, to the churchyard in 1960. So there's a cross for the fallen the two world wars. Which is up there I'm afraid you can't really see it from here. Just by chance we just found another North Downs Way marker. How am I going? that way, all Charing. So we just passed Lenham and yep, okay. Charing three, three and a quarter, quarter miles, not that far. Nearly on the home stretch. A lot of long, long routes on this part of the walk. We just had a, we just had a car come bombing down here. See, it's not really a car, a <laughs> road for cars. Really. There's a bunch of kids in. Nearly uh, switches off the road. Yes, not good. I wish I got the number plate. So we're in the high street in Charing. It's been a great walk, hasn't it, Paul? Lovely. Let's head back to the car at Charing Station and we'll say thanks very much and we'll see you next time. So Paul and I just getting the train back to Charing, parked in Chillum. Uh, this is walk nine. We're doing Chillum, uh, sorry, Charing. <laughs> Charing to Chillum. Um, stopping for Broughton Lees for uh, lunch at the Flying Horse, I think it's called. Yes, Flying Horse, nice bit, yeah. bit of lunch, a yeah. bit of a pint. Uh, glorious morning, very sunny, uh, a bit fresh, but that's fine. Uh, lovely, so here we go. So here we are in lovely Charing, but we're walking back up to where we lo left off last time. It's very nice, a lovely village is Charing. So, this is where we left off last time, and I can uh, bear right here past this lovely grand old building. We're back on the North Downs Way. North Downs Way, and we're heading down there. So it's a gorgeous morning. We've got a nice early start, we've got the earlier train, so it's only like 10 o'clock. Not that early. Nah. It's not like six o'clock in the morning. 7.30 start. From, yeah, from Surrey. From us, yeah. It's uh, presently turning quite warm now, so it's uh, very nice. If you look over here, got some lovely llamas in the field. 
Uh, one wonders in ancient times whether this three-way pathway would have been such a superstitious uh, area. Interesting. But uh, soldiering on, indeed. Soldiering on as we head all that way. We actually found our first pillbox in Kent, which makes sense since we're near, sort of not that far from Dover. I should say this is our ninth walk. We've got about, we're doing the Canterbury Loop, so we'll say about three, four more walks probably. Yeah, three, four to Dover, and then another two or three to get back to the other end of the loop. Yeah, southern. We thought, well, let's do Canterbury, because Canterbury is obviously one of the most gorgeous cities in the world, with the cathedral and everything. Um, so we can show you a bit of that. And why not? Now, look, come on Kent, Pilgrim's Way again, I know we're actually on the proper Pilgrim's Way at the moment, but really, you've got to think of some alternative names for your streets. Very nice so far, getting a bit warm now. I've got too thick a layer on. It's lovely. walk out onto quite open fields, a little spot of rain in the air which we're trying to avoid. Just in case they want to make an English version of Children of the Corn. There's loads of it here. Or we can make a crop circle. I know we're out of season but okay, where are we? You're now in Eastwell Park. A modern walled mansion dominates the view and soon home farms appears more coyly on your left. Mm. <laughs> Coy. going off path a second because we wanted to visit the ruin St Mary's Church which looks absolutely extraordinary. This is truly amazing. It's amazing. There's a lake. I really recommend coming here. I can actually get in here. Graffiti, which I, I suppose you would expect. And lunch at the Flying Horse. So we just had a very nice lunch in this Flying Horse. Flying Horse. It's now that horrible spitty rain. So I've, I've christened my new waterproof. And we're heading off the next section, down to Chillum. So here we go. Without trying to get run over. Yeah. It's being pretty constant with the rain at the moment. It's not really heavy, but it's that horrible, drizzly one. But we're edging forward. Okay, this is a significant turn point. Uh, if you're going straight to Dover, you carry on down that way. We are doing the Canterbury Loop. So, we're going that way. Farnham, 98 miles. We've walked 98 miles so far, plus probably about five on top of that, I would think. So. Yeah, so we're now going to Dover via Canterbury, which is 30, 30 miles that way. So, uh, yeah, we're a little bit more to the route than but I think most people do the Canterbury loop, don't they? I would have thought so, and yeah. then 25 fire folk focused. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, well, I thought we were going to Broughton, what's it called? Broughton? A Louvre. <laughs> but we're not, we're following it this way. Oh, I think we are actually going towards the, yeah, Look, it's on the map. Although it's only a little bit of rain. So nice. Hot. Yeah, we're just saying there's a nice church here. The Norman Tower. Very nice. A bit muddy now. This big open field. And now we're going for the little. mini cathedral of trees. Oh, it's nice to be undercover again. You know that spitty rain that's really annoying? Either rain hard or not, make up your mind. Uh, it's reading time. It's going, uh, surprise, that way. Yeah, funny enough. Yeah. Going the right way. Ooh. So we walk along this path to our left is King's Wood. It's a very, very vast 
amount of land that used to be a hunting ground, is that correct Paul? We assume so. We assume so, yeah. Given the name. Yeah, Kings Wood. Before we got to the lunch stop for out in Leeds, it pretty much hadn't stopped raining, is it? But hey, yeah. one of those things, we're still enjoying it. It's not too heavy. Makes the, uh, no, it's not too heavy. Makes the trees look quite vivid. But we should soldier on. So Paul and I have just come across another way marker. Way marker. Pretty good. Farnham, 103 miles that way, where we've come from. Canterbury is 10 miles that way. And Dover is 28 miles that way. So you've got an idea how much we've got left to do. Yeah. So yeah, nearing the end. We'll try and do it by the end of the year if we can. If not, we're going to January. Weather permitting, of course. Okay, here's what? a sign here saying this is the uh, uh, first sighting of Canterbury Cathedral as we walk along the route. Now, if you can see from the weather, it's overcast, it's raining, so I don't think we are going to see Canterbury yeah, Cathedral 7.5 miles away, right. which I was really looking forward to, so... <laughs> we'll have to get up close with it, won't we, Paul? Why no? Yeah. We'll have to get up close, close. yeah, but, yeah, here we go. I'm not doing the bit again. Nah, I mean, just <laughs> heaps are wrong. Yeah. So we're going to carry on down there, we might see it, we we'll might see not. see it closer up. Yeah. Heading down to Chillum. All good? Yes. Good. Rain. <laughs> Ruining my hair. Away with you. We'll oh. definitely ruin my hair. So now on the outskirts of Chillum and journey's end for today. Yeah, nice walk, apart from the rain. So Paul, enjoyed it? Yes, been an experience. An experience uh, before. So into Chillum, the lovely village of Chillum, which is one of the most beautiful villages I think I've ever seen. Um, so next time, we're now on the Canterbury Loop, so we're going into Canterbury next time, which means it's pretty easy for us to get down, we can get down from East Croydon and then get a train to here. And then we'll it's slightly nicer than East yeah. Croydon. Yeah, slightly nicer than East Croydon. So thanks very much for joining us. I'll show you a little bit of uh, Chillum, which is lovely, and we'll see you next time. So good morning, it's Saturday the 6th of January. We're back in Shillam for walk 10 of the North Downs Way. It's a quite a short one, we're just going about seven miles probably down to Canterbury. A uh, little walk around Canterbury and we're done. We've got about probably another two walks after that. And we're back in the lovely medieval village of Shillam, which is absolutely gorgeous. So, North Downs Way, we're going through St Mary's in Shillam. There's a nice yew tree here. UT has survived for 1300 years, it says here, but was fatally damaged by falling trees in the Great Storm oh, of 1987. So, this is what you want right at the beginning of a walk. It's a nice steady uphill curve. We're doing fine, aren't we? Of course, we are. Weather's very nice. It's fresh, but it's fine. Okay, we're in Old Wives Lees, and we're going that way. Yeah. Heading down here. Okay, there's the signpost. I think we go over that style over there, don't we? Yeah, Stratton Park. Charlton Hatch, two miles. More vineyards. Yeah, we're going through a few vineyards here as we head towards Charlton Heath. Oh, very nice. Water field. We've got another walker in front. Oh, he slipped up there. Another walker in front of us. Oh, quite a lovely field. That's a really nice little route up there. That's really nice. Yeah, we can go there and then across and then I think it's upwards. Okay. A little sludge. Yeah. Might be a bit slushy this. Aha, we have a sign. Lucky we did go up this way. And north down the way. Cool. Okay, so we're going underneath the railway bridge. Pull this. Okay, this really is orchard country, isn't it? Really, loads of some being grown. Uh, it's easy to. There's all signposted quite well. Okay. okay. Got to be careful on some of these. We've just come out into a road and a couple of fast moving vehicles. 
outhouse and all the way and we're going this way up Newtown Street so a bit of road walking here up Newtown Street so you've got to be on our guard for any more fast moving vehicles it's a lovely a white deer? I'm not sure be, if anyone can answer, tell me who that is we put it in the comment section the A2 we're going to cross. We're crossing the A2. A2, yeah. Okay. We are in No Man's Orchard, about three miles outside Canterbury. Heading towards Bigbury. Bigbury. Which is an Iron Age fort. Oh, oh, he says. And there's an information panel. Oh, because I'm obviously very much into uh, Iron Age Neolithic, which Bronze a, Age eras. It provides a vivid image, not just normal image, a, it's vivid, a vivid image <laughs> of what it might have been like in those days. <laughs> So look forward to vivid imagery coming up. Okay, cool. Wow. There may be vivid imagery. Yeah, keep watching kids, keep Fla watching. Flash photography, vivid imagery. <laughs> we'll head into the uh, No Man's Orchard. <laughs> we are in Bleen Ancient Woodland. Just trying to make sure we didn't see a sign, we think it is straight on. If we hit a road, we're, we're good. There's an Iron Age Hill Fort nearby. Well, the rains of one, but it's not in very good condition. You can probably hear the hum of traffic in the background because we're nearing Canterbury, famous for the Canterbury Tales, of course, for Chaucer, the cathedral, world famous cathedral, the shrine of Thomas Beckett, who was killed back in 1170, was it, I think, by, on the orders of Henry II, um, and a very ancient city. So we're at uh, Bigbury Hillfort which is obviously up there. Remains major prehistoric earthwork. At least from the latter part of the first century BC. Mm. And it's actually been masked by woodlands of South Bean, it says. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's it up there. We're not going up there, we're going that way. We're nearly in Canterbury and it's nearly lunchtime in the end. And then and we'll you, see how, you see how it goes up? And then it goes down again. Yeah, because the hill fort. Oh, it's funny. Isn't it? Okay, we've got the A2 in the background. Just came up the wood. Okay, and the alternative way. <laughs> and North Downs Way. Across the A2. Over the A2. It's showing such a load of landfill and people just thrown out of the cars. Especially when you're on a really nice little track like this, just by the uh, motorway. So there we go. One mile. One mile. Someone said to me the other day, he said to me, um, How far to Canterbury? I said, One mile. He said, one mile. I said, aye, one mile, roughly speaking. <laughs> Just going past the National Trust at Golden Hill. I don't know, which is over there. Must have some fine views towards the city, I would think. Although we've got sort of houses all here, we're all sort of really in the outskirts now. Yeah. It's actually a very interesting update. Here we are, we're in Canterbury. I'll we'll show you some bits in a second. Just going under the underpass, we've seen the cathedral. Nearly there. John Fox underpass. Great old fire station. Now converted into flats. It's worth pointing out the Canterbury is so synonymous with the North Downs Way that um, good to show you little bits of it. And there's Westgate. Going through Westgate? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Heading. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're not actually going into the cathedral, I'm afraid, guys, but there is Canterbury Cathedral. Well, a bit of a sort of. We're not actually going into Canterbury Cathedral, but it's, uh, and you can't really get a good shot of it, but here we are in Canterbury, in Canterbury Square. Right by the entrance. That counts, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, it'd be shown nice to get a picture. But anyway, it's been a good journey and two more to do, maybe. Yeah. And we might see you next time. OK, 
Okay, we're in Canterbury, uh, where we left off last time. Yeah, continuing the tales. Yeah, telling the tales. So. Canterbury Cathedral, you can see over there. Uh, and we're going to hit on the North Downs Way and head down to Shepherd's Well. Shepherd's Well. Um, and hopefully it'll be a lovely little walk on this lovely, actually very nice day. No clouds. Yeah. Lovely. So uh, here we go. Or a roundabout. So I think we go up that way a bit. Okay, let's go up that way a bit. Just trying to get out of Canterbury just and find the uh, where the route sort of starts. After our coffee and hot chocolate. Coffee and hot chocolate in what's it called? I guess the sandwich shop. The sandwich shop. Really, really imaginative really. name. Yeah, the me amazing food. Run by a French guy, yeah. Laurent. Laurent. Yeah. He says bonjour when you walk in. Check it out. Trip advisor. Yeah. I want to try and be flashy and go here, bonjour, ça va bien, but I didn't, I got, yeah. ended up looking like a tit. Okay. Ethelbert. Ethelbert. King yeah, of the English, AD yeah, yeah. 597 and Paul Falconer, yeah. working for Surrey County Council. <laughs> Brett Walder of the English. He got uh, Bertha, Queen of Kent. Yeah. See guys, they have all these lovely sights on the North Downs Way. Yeah. Lots to see. Right, so we're going. That way. That's an Abbey. Okay, we're just looking for the sign that says North Downs Way. Just, just to the right. There it is, we found it. North Downs Way. So we're going down Spring Lane. Fig tree. Oh, fig tree. See that? That's a fig There we go. Oh. I'm hot already. The problem is you're walking, you don't know what layers you've got on. And I'm really far too hot now. Oh well. It's fine. A little bit residential to walk out of Canterbury. Quiet road. There's some greenery up there. And we're out to the countryside. I think it's pretty much going to be quite like a lot of the tracks now down to the village. This one's buzzing. Oh, the pilot. The pilot. to Patrick's Vaughan. We're coming out by a road, a little bit of road walking um, in Patrick's Vaughan. P-A-T-R-I-X. Oh, you were right here. Yeah. Patrick's Vaughan. Public footpath to bridge. I love these old signs. Charming little villages. Is. That's it, one here. St Mary's in Practin Bourne. Lovely. Looks a little bit early. 12th century. 12th century, yeah, I thought so, by the stonework. Nice little church. There we go, we're going cross country. Shepherd's Wall, seven miles that way. Yeah. Got the M2 over there in the background. Just climb up a little bit of a hill here. Not too bad. There's a milestone. It says 18 miles to Dover, but the North Downs Way book, National Trail Guidebook, says actually it's, was it 16? 15. 15 miles, that's actually incorrect, so somebody maybe have got the sack over that, I don't know. But there's the next milestone. We're just going up to walk alongside the A2 through this little... Oh yeah, there it is. Down's way, so 
we're going to walk, the A2 is down there. And we're walking up here. And we're going down here. Still tattling the A2. Crossing over the A2. Oh. So I think the A2 is going to be with us for a little while, but uh, can't be helped. We're heading in the sort of same direction. Man. Going to the National Trails guidebook. We go down here go down near a church and then we go across another field and it says plod on. So we're plodding. We're plodding on. Pilgrim's Way. So we're going that way. Must be. We've had a couple of times on this route where we had to sort of double check the map. Uh, oh, North Downs Way, yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice vista, back to Canterbury. Not that far from... I still forgot, Shepherd's... Well. Well, Shepherd's Well. Or the birdies, if they... Oh yeah, there they are, look. Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, crossing a busy road now. Yeah. Oh, lovely, look at that. Back to four miles. So we're going to Woman's World. We're going to Magazine, Woman's, Woman's World, which is next to Woman's Own. Right. And then Woolage. Woolage. Cool. Woolage. Woolage. Oh, Corn's cool. still on there, yeah? Because it's like the one we've got corn in the garden is rubbish this year. It's not been a good season. It's not, it's not been a good season, no. Yeah. I thought season four was better. Yeah, I thought so. When the plot really came together. Season the, one, the two, next, and three. The next field's got a field of bunions. Really? That's the fifth season. Yeah, past Evesham Farm. Evesham Farm. This is very nice. About three, got about three miles to go. They've come out to this rather gorgeous little village. 1731. Just walking down this lovely little village. And uh, we've got the church. Which is... We're in Woman's Wold. Pheasants around. There's one over there. So we're about probably just under a mile from Chip as well. As the sun sets. As the sun sets. The Kent countryside. On the Kent countryside and this lovely warm end of October, start of November day. Happy Halloween everybody. It is October 31st, everyone else is doing Halloween stuff. Just going up this concrete path. And this is some serious fly tipping. Look at this mess. Wow. Absolutely disgraceful. Okay. Just going over the train tracks. Incidentally, that uh, fly tipping we saw back there, there was actually some tape around it, and it's under investigation, so it's good. Broken North Downs Way sign there. Just walking down to Shepherd's Well and the end of today's walk. And we get the train back to Canterbury and where we start it off again tomorrow. So we're in Shepherd's Well at the end of today's walk. It's about 10 point, 10 point four miles, like that. give or take. And tomorrow morning we're going to come back here by train. We'll get the train back to Canterbury where we're staying. Get the train back here and then ship as well to Dover and the basically the end of the walk. 
So, uh, yeah, it's been great. Shetland ponies. Shetland ponies down there. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, well, in reality, yeah, we'll, see you yeah. we'll see you tomorrow. So it's the next day, it's our final leg of the North Downs Way and uh, we are doing um, Shepherd's Well all the way down to Dover. So uh, this is it. It has been raining but hopefully it's going to clear up so uh, yeah, so here we go. Bell in and we're just going to be walking up that way to pick up the trail. Let's do it. That wasn't me, that was the posty. That was the posty man. So just past the church in Shepherd's Well here we are, North Downs Way, Dover, eight and a half miles. Okay. Eight and a half miles. Okay. What's eight and a half miles among friends? Okay, here we go. We are hoping it's going to stop raining. Because that's going to be a whole... There's a long stretches on this. It's pretty much so one long stretch. We bear right, then another long stretch down to Dover. There's a couple of viewpoints on the way. There's supposed to be an ancient uh, tumuli. So we'll uh, check it out. Behind. Make sure we don't slip up like we all just almost did. And there's going to be a lot of that today, and we're heading across field. Okay. I did predict it's going to stop raining, and it has. Just a few little drizzles, but very muddy paths. Sounds right. And uh, into some nice woodland briefly. Probably not for very long. Coldred Coldred Court Coldred Court Farm. And on the map we've got a little bit of an earthwork here. Look at that. Okay, very cool. So we're going here. A bit of woodland. We're in Waldershire Park. There's a folly over there. I don't know if that's part of a building, but it's a bit of a folly. Here we've got a bit of a walk. Thank you very much, Paul, for opening the gate for me while I've got the camera. Thank you. So we're walking straight down there. Ah, we love it. Yay. And there's that folly again. So Paul's got it as the Bel... what's it called? The Belvedere Tower. Belvedere Tower. I say what it was used for. Some kind of folly or observatory. Intriguing. Is... We'll try and find out a bit more of that when we get home. So we just come from all the way over there. Quick breather. And... Hang on. Get a view of the house. Just heading down to the entrance there. There must be workers' cottages uh, for people who work on the estate. We walk up further and we come to the church. So it must be consecrated ground. I thought it was just a woodland. Yeah, uh, it's still consecrated. Wow. Isn't that amazing? So I think one of the blogs said that the church was for sale a few years back. Oh, it's the Church's Conservation Trust. Well, it's obviously probably been bought by the yeah. Conservation Trust. On we go through the lynch gate. And uh, thank you very much. There's a sign across the road. A bit of road walking. Just have to be a little bit careful, as always. Uh, walking. Yeah, some cows in the field. Okay, prior to what I just said, it's we spoke to the, brave. yeah, we spoke to the farm farmer, and he said they're absolutely fine and docile. Even, the, I'm afraid, the ball up there. Yeah, we did have a tennis press. Yeah, they're all sort of just coming up this way a little bit fast. Sorry guys, they're all looking at us. I mean, the farmers did say this ball is very tame. You have to push him to even get him slightly wound up, so... Uh, we're heading for Ashley. Okay, I think we're going that way. Yeah, good news of the signs. Bit of road walking. Oh, I love to hear the, the seagulls. Things we're near the coast. Ashley Sutton. 
So we wish just walk through Ashley, which is very nice. Oh, look at that lovely old cottage. There's a North Downs close on the North Downs way. <laughs> I've already got the name. Yeah, they sort of have to think long and hard about these names. Downs close. And there's Dover five miles. So we're now on a pretty straight run down to Dover. And we're following the concourse of the original Roman road. So that'll be interesting. Okay, not pleasant. Absolutely peeing it down. Take the rough with the smooth. Sort of gives it away really, doesn't it, Roman Road. So we're turning left in a minute and we're joining the White Cliffs National... Was it the White Cliffs Trail? Uh, the, yeah, White Cliffs Country Trail. Country yes, Trail. Quite right. Unfortunately, you know, we'd luckily we had the weather we had yesterday, which was lovely and sunny. You know, it's, all right, it's mild, it's warm, it's not cold, but it's uh, just pissing it down, which is not the way we wanted to enter Dover, but hey. Whenever I'm out walking, I do like these little drove roads, these little sunken paths. Really interesting thing. You know, people have walked here over so many years. There's another milestone. It's five kilometres to Dover. This is good. We haven't filmed for quite a while because it's absolutely chucking it down. I mean, ridiculously chucking it down. But we're now under cover in woods, so... It'll clue, yeah. as they say in uh, Dover. Yeah. Over three and a quarter miles. Wow, it's over halfway. It seems to be much further than that, but once we start walking downhill, it'll speed up. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen, hang on. Is that the sun coming out? Is it really? Are you really coming out? This... According to the weather forecast, I think the sun will come out tomorrow. Oh, God. Bet your bottom dollar. See, Paul's so into musical theatre, you see. It's going to come out for when we get to Dover so we can do our bit at the plaque at the end. Interesting building here for the barn. Right, you can hear the traffic in the background which is just over the top there. I've well, come across something rather sad. It's a little cross, was it? Gary Goldsmith, 1968-2001. It remembered every day. Oh, that's really sweet. Wow. What well, odd place to put something. Yes. Cross. Yeah. You think they'd put the crossing there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we've got to walk down to cross over the motorway and then come back along there. We'll come the other side of the motorway, cross the field, and we're going that way. Down into Dover. Down into Dover. At least it stopped raining. Yeah. As soon as we get there, the sun's going to come out, I bet you, for our ending bit. It's going to happen. Hope so. Bet it doesn't. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming on the journey with us, guys. It's been fun. Walk down, I've got a cottage at the bottom. I'd much rather there in that field <laughs> than us, yeah. Crossing the railway line. Nearly there. Okay, we've come back out into civilization. With the acorn sign, we've just got to work out how to get down to where we're we going. Is that the. Oh, yeah. Cemetery. Yep, there's a sign off the way. There's little tunnels here. <laughs> Nothing you like better than a little steep climb as you walk up to your ending point. Lovely. And here we are in Dover. As we walk down the road, there's the first sign of Dover Castle. Hence Castle Avenue. Yeah, Castle Avenue. That is a big seagull. There's quite a few trails you can do around Dover. It looks very interesting. So here we go. We're at the end, we're on the seafront. End of the North Downs Way. Yeah. 65 miles we've probably done. Sorry, 165 miles from Farnham in Surrey, where we sort of come from. And 
we are at Dover. Start, finish. There you go, guys. We've done it. North Downs Way. North, North Trail. North Downs Way. We've done it. I think it's a year and a half. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Could have done it in a week. We could have done it in a week, actually, if we'd taken a week off, That's actually. Right. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us for the journey. It's been fantastic. Um, so it's a bit of sort of like, oh, we've done it. Okay. Okay. So next one. Next one. I want to do the Ridgeway. I'm trying to get into the Ridgeway. But, but thanks very much for joining us. And uh, carry on walking.